growing up, how we grew up, the hill, Jersey City, born in the 80s during a heavy drug era, living in the midst of drug abuse, parent incarceration, violence, and even sexual trauma. We decided to use our God-given abilities to assist others in healing by telling their stories to the world. For us, as kids, it was music and visual arts that helped serve as a form of therapy. Now, we're on a mission as we feel a spiritual obligation to those battling trauma to help them use their stories as inspiration to others. From the hill to healing. Assalamu alaikum, my brother CP. Alaikum assalam to Allah barakatu. How you doing, brother? Tahi, alhamdulillah, brother. Man, today is the first day of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. So it's only fitting that I have you as a guest. And it's not even a guest. Let's even just throw that concept out the window. It was just mm -hmm. candid conversation and we put it out to the world. There you go. Um, before we get to Ramadan, I've never asked you this. Even though I might know the answer a little bit. Mm -hmm. who, is Tony, who is Tony Perkins? Tony Perkins is... Who is Tony Perkins? Definitely an original, mm -hmm. an entertainer, human, human being first, a Muslim, uh, a father, uh, a, loy a loyal, just, 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 oh, just that, loyalty and royalty. Listen, all those words, it, it aligns yeah. but with, with, with what I was thinking. Okay. But I've never asked you that from your, from your perspective, you know what right. I'm saying? Um, one thing I love about you, TP, mm -hmm. is that you move at your own pace. And when I say that, I mean the way you see, the way it seems that you see the world, you're not getting too high, you're not getting too low, you're right where you need to be when it, when it comes to how you attack and approach life. And I think that this being Ramadan, I think you're a great example of, of using, when you use a time like this, to refocus and recenter your energy. I think you're a great example of someone who's right where they need to be. How do you feel about that? That's 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 spot on right there yeah. with me. Yeah. You know, and um Where's that demeanor come from? Within. Within. Born with it? Born with it. You know, it, it just it takes a lot to ruffle my feathers. And I like to assess situations before I react. And I just look at things like, if it's not harming me, why address it or interact with it? And just keep it moving, you know, just try to keep that balance, that balance yeah. you know, and move at a, a smooth pace. And like you said, move at my pace. There's no other way to do it, you know, because I can't be on somebody else's time and feel comfortable with what I have to do. You know what I mean? And I think that's why we get along so well because I'm pretty much the same way. Mm -hmm. You don't hear us complain. There's a whole bunch of things that's, that go on around us that, you know, whether it's on the job, whether it's creatively, but we kind of just say, listen, man, if it's not too much, if it's not a, a impacting me, my family, so on, I, I'm not attached to it. And we kind of just let things roll off. Have to. But at the same time, I also don't feel like you're a pushover either. No. You know what I mean? No, no, because, you know, in the midst of all of that, at the end of the day, I still have to take care of me, mm -hmm. you know, and I can't let anybody just do what they want and allow that, you know, and then go home and go to sleep comfortably. I can't do that. Yeah, me either. That's, <laughs> what, that's what keeps me solid. Yeah, yeah. You, know? you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's situations, you know, coming up that I've been, you know, we, a lot of people high, holler uh, loyalty, mm -hmm. right? You have to really understand what that word means because if it's not being reciprocated, mm -hmm. right? It's not genuine. And I've been down that road. You know, I've given, I've given, I've given, mm -hmm. but wasn't receiving. You know what I mean? And once you acknowledge that, it, it's, it's, it kind of 
kind of moves me a little different. It changes your perspective. It's, exactly. On yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, going through all of those changes and difficulties and experiences, mm -hmm. I'll say, it's just growth. And that's all I've gotten from it. And I always, in my mind, I don't know if I said it to you or not, but in my mind, I always put you in the same energy, not personality, mm -hmm. but energy as a Jay-Z or a Nas. Mm. Because, do you know why? I'm gonna tell you anyway, but. Go ahead. Because I think that some people's energy is just so timeless mm -hmm. that it's like you could have survived in any era. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Spe creatively, right. as, a, as, a, as a man, as a human, like those brothers would have been who they were somehow, like if, if it was the 1930s, Nas could have been a jazz musician. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And we still would have yeah. respected his him as a like a young prophet. You right. know what I mean? Right. And I always, in, in my mind at least, I, I when I see you mm -hmm. and I and I have experiences with you, I compare it to that. Okay. You know what I mean? That's 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 a good comparison right there. It better and, be right. Yeah, it is. <laughs> because you know we we like. I come from that era. We all come from the era. Me, Jay-Z, and Nas. Mm -hmm. You know, we come from the same era. So, and I, I see how those brothers move. You know, being that you use those guys yeah. as an example. Legend, I see man. Exactly. You know what I mean? And I see how they move. And I see, I do see myself in, in, in those guys. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As far as demeanor-wise. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Very humble. Uh, to the point. Far from a pushover, mm -hmm. and um, just balance. and balance, yep, exactly. Yep, yep. You know what I mean. What are your goals, or at least one, right for Ramadan? What is what is like one of the things that are on, on the forefront of your mind? Be a better Muslim than I was last year, or yesterday. Make it more current. More current. And uh, I think it's important to understand that that's that's personal for you. Yes. Right. Like. Yes. If. You don't have to answer to anyone. Like whatever it is that you have the, the relationship, or anyone for that matter, with their divine creator, whoever they report to, mm -hmm. whatever uh, flaws or whatever uh, things you want to tweak or work on, it's it's up. It's it's the relationship and the language that you communicate with the higher power. Exactly, exactly. And the, the the most the most important thing for me right now is is just strengthening my email. You know, mm -hmm. this this Ramadan, just like um, my birthday just passed was mm -hmm. last Friday. Happy belated again, but go ahead. Appreciate it. And when I woke up that Friday, it was different for me than any, any other, other birthday. any other birthday. It just felt like a relief. You know, I'm here. I made it, mm -hmm. and I I just felt that it just deserved a celebration. Like every day we should be celebrating our lives. No matter what, what we do. It doesn't have to mean uh, drinking, smoking, you know, those aspects of celebrations or partying or anything like that. But just thanking your higher power and just doing something positive and just acknowledging that you're still here and able to help someone else. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And it was just different for me. And and I'm taking I'm taking Ramadan, this year's Ramadan. The same way, you know, it's just a little different for me because I want to come out of this because it's not actually about the holy month of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. It's what you carry over and continue with yeah. after Ramadan. Yeah, we just spoke. We about spoke that. about yeah, that, absolutely. right? You know what I mean. So I want to take my imam to the next level, and that's what I'm looking to get out of this Ramadan. And inshallah, Allah will bless me with that. And challenging yourself to that, definitely. Um, me and Lorenzo, and it's crazy because you we have things that we say, but we don't because we don't always kick it all the time, right? We never get a chance to talk about this. But there's something that you said, I don't know if you said it to me or you said it to Lorenzo, mm -hmm. that we we keep it in mind, and I'm gonna tie it to what you said a second ago about taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. Lorenzo. I don't care if this is off camera, we're gonna keep it authentic. What do you always say that TP says that that we we live with? This is now. Uh, become a golden rule for us and the golden rule is you can't make everything do you ever remember saying that <laughs> yes yep yes yep. yes and 
You can't make everything for those who didn't, couldn't hear Lorenzo, but go ahead. Right. And that's important, man. You know? And I shared that with uh, Whoop also. You know? So that's a principle that you live by. I just see it. Mm -hmm. I see it. You know, we all carry heavy loads every mm -hmm. single day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every day is something going on. Everything, we want to make everything. We want to support everybody. Yeah, yeah. But the reality is we can't do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like uh, the same night of the event that we just was at the mm -hmm. women's event, mm -hmm. right? It was another event going on that night also. And me trying to be at this event and support my friends who was having another event, it's just not possible. It's not realistic. You know what I mean? And you have to have that time and, and, and it's always balance. Yeah. It's always balance. Always. It always comes back to balance. You know, because we we running and running and running and we off balance. Yeah, we're, you know what I mean. We're, we're off like, balance. Yeah. yeah. And then once we settle down, we get our legs back up under us, mm -hmm. and we're able to stand firm and have that balance. Yeah. So you can't make everything. You can't make everything, and you I'll never forget that. You can't do as it. As simple as that is. Exactly. It's powerful. Yes, you can't do it. And even I'm reading this book. You know, as a, a guy through Ramadan, it, it talks about even during Ramadan and forever, really, like just not taking on too much no added excessive things to your plate mm -hmm. because like you said it, re it kind of rem removes you from the center of of your prayer of the of the of the state that you need to be in to receive you know, you know what i mean the the being in that that place where you're like you said your legs are planted and you're ready you know what i mean when you're always running how, you're not really prepared spiritually you, you know what i mean yeah definitely um for me, uh, when I think about Tony Perkins, I always say this, say this to myself, right? When I met you at 34 school, that was about, that was like 2010, 2011. And this is cliche, but you've never been a hater. No, never. And, and listen, listen, we know that sometimes we forgive our brothers and sisters who may be resentful mm -hmm. or they may have, they battle with their own insecurities and they might project it onto other people, mm -hmm. right? So I don't want to judge them either. But one thing I can say about you is that you always support and you never show any signs of envy towards anyone. And that is a very rare quality. It's, it's, it's difficult. That's too much energy. That's too much energy. And, and, and the bottom line is, my mentality is what I want for me is what I want for my brother. You know, it doesn't matter who gets it. And that's the thing with Jersey City people. You know, everybody wants to be in the forefront. Everybody wants to be, hey, me, 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 my and I people. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's just one common goal. It doesn't matter if you achieve it. If you achieve it, I have to get behind you yep. and push it to the next level. Absolutely. If I achieve it, you get behind me and push it to the next level. But at the end of the day, we all we win. All win. We and all that's win. the number one goal. So I have no, no, no malice in my heart yeah. for anybody. Nope. You know what I mean? And may Allah forgive me if I've ever portrayed that to anybody. Yeah. I mean. Um, one of the reasons why I always felt like it was like that in Jersey City was because I feel like we have yet to have like that moment where from a, a global standpoint of having a platform where it's like we can hold on and say it's ours. Mm. You know, like Brooklyn has Jay-Z, they have Big, and I don't want to keep it just to hip hop, right? Right, right Chicago, right. Oprah's from Chicago, yes. I think. Oprah, Chicago has Oprah, they have Kanye, or whatever, and it's, and it's not about celebrity. It's just about people who are able to have a global or universal impact. Mm -hmm. And in Jersey City, I feel like we get it in certain spurts and in certain waves, mm -hmm. but there's still that that void that need that that like we have the desire to fill it. So there's more people here who's like, it's me. I'm the one. You know what I mean? And that ego, that egotistical battle is it causes a lot of friction because you know, we all we all in the same place. We all it's like like that crab mentality. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, people can say it's me, it's me, it's me. But the people you just named from Chicago, 
there it is them. Yeah. But the thing about it is, they're uplifting everybody else. Yeah, absolutely. That's come that comes from their town. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? That's not taking place here. No. You no. know what I'm we saying? We struggle with that. As we a struggle community. with that. Yes. You know. Yes. And it can't be you, mm -hmm. because what are you doing with it? Yeah. You know what I mean? If I'm on top. Or whatever it is, I don't even have to be on top. I'm still giving what I what I have to give because it's just my duty as a man and as a Muslim to give whatever I can give to anybody to get them to the next day, to the next minute, to the next hour, whatever it is. And that's just my duty to do that. So if you're not doing that and you claiming that you're the one or the uh, the, the big pillar yeah. in the community. It goes, you know, we, we don't want to ain't doing that. nothing with it. Exactly. What good is it? Words with no deeds mean nothing to me. Absolutely. I like that. Words with no deeds mean nothing to me. <laughs> yeah. And you said something, too, that, that, that I, I live by this, right? Like, and I try to keep the, we know, we know it's Ramadan with Muslim. We, we know that, right? But I also try to speak to whatever. Listen, people can be whatever they want to be. Always. What I do feel is that. Whatever you decide to be, religious or not religious, spiritual or not spiritual, however you do it, I feel like it should be, whatever you are doing should be done in the spirit of what you claim to identify with. Mm -hmm. So if I follow a certain religion or a certain spiritual, you know, organization, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. if I'm not doing good deeds, if I'm not being kind to people, if I'm not, if I don't have the spirit of giving, the spirit of healing, I have to work on that. Definitely. Because if I can connect myself to, to the Muslim community, you know, to the Christian community, I could connect myself to that. But if I'm not living with that spirit, then the, then the dude, Lorenzo over there, might more, have more of an Islamic spirit than somebody who even claims to be within the same structure that I'm in mm -hmm. because he has those qualities. Mm -hmm. So we can lean more on those qualities than just the nature of being tribal. Right. And it's just everyday life. You know, we, you might have $5 in your pocket, mm -hmm. but the minute we walk out these doors, it's somebody out there with nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You know, you go to get in your car, you passing somebody who's in their bed or in their residence on the street corner. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if I'm seeing that and I'm, you know, how can I just feel comfortable just walking by somebody like that, knowing I have money in my pocket and possibly share, it doesn't have to be all of your money, but it can be something or just add on to what they have, yeah. Yeah. you know? And just making it, you know, get them a meal, get them something to drink. It doesn't matter. Just give them an idea yeah. and uh, 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 so letting people know that it's still love out here, you know, and you can get it no matter what your circumstances or your conditions are. And that's where it is with me, you know, and, you know, this is, this is, this is the time to take advantage and develop habits that you feel you need to work Absolutely. on. Absolutely. You know, this yep. is the great time to, yep. to, to, do, to do that during Ramadan. And it's all about charity. Give it. Yeah, deeds, Give it. Deeds. deeds. It ain't nothing deeds. like you said. If you have the power, it ain't nothing if you don't do nothing with it exactly. to impact others. Exactly. During Ramadan, as a father, I know you have uh, you have two children. Yes. A daughter and a son. Yes. Um, for for little man, uh, him being young, him and him and my man Melo the same age. Mm -hmm. How how does that coincide during Ramadan? What are you mindful about? or intentional about when it comes to your children? Um, before Ramadan started, we were three days out and um, I was with my daughter and um, I shared with her that Ramadan is coming and uh, I asked her to uh, participate in Ramadan. It will be her first time, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't expect her to do it to the extent, you know, that I'm training gonna, with you know, Right, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But just having the mindset of being able to participate and willing to participate just to experience it mm -hmm. and have a, some type of understanding of what my dad does and how can it benefit her, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's just all about just training the mind, mm -hmm. just training the mind and doing good deeds. It's always coming back to good deeds. Absolutely. As far as my son, um, 
I'll say two. The MN. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, he was with me, uh, I think, a couple of days during Ramadan. It was one Friday, Jumar Friday, and um, I brought him to the masjid for the first time. Alhamdulillah. And uh, in Jersey City. Yes, and um, just to see his 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 expression, you know, because it's all strange to him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He's mm -hmm. being shown something different at home. He's being taught something different on his mom's side, yeah. you know, but he's getting my side also. Yeah. But um, it was just a great feeling for me, yeah. you know, just to see him in that light. Yeah. And he's gonna learn. He's gonna learn. Yeah. And just to see him uh, pray with me and go through the prostrations and you know, so Jews and all of that kind of stuff, man, and all that good. Yeah, yeah. It's a very fulfilling. Thing. Yes, man. It was just like so refreshing for me, and um, just just giving him two sides, man. You know, he's gonna make his decision once Absolutely. he gets older, yeah. and it's just no hard feelings wherever he goes yeah, as long yeah. as he's in tune the with his high. What you exactly, exactly. It's always gonna be there. That's it. Um, I always say, even I went came on your platform. Um, with my father, mm -hmm. if I didn't get anything from him, I got those principles. You know what I mean? I got my father. My father uh, converted to Islam. Don't make me lie on him, but he was obviously before I was born because of my name. Mm -hmm. But just those strong principles and those strong morals. Even you know him through him him even when he wasn't there through my mother. Those principles were embedded in my mind, which um, allowed me to be a disciplined kid. Mm -hmm. And I kind of still carry that same demeanor, right? So, so that's why I think it's important as a parent, even when, of course, we want to be with our kids 24-7. Yes. But those principles and those times that he goes to the masjid with mm -hmm. you and the things that you tell him, mm -hmm. he's not going to forget that. And it's so funny that you say that because one thing, you know, when we think of uh, our children, you know, and, and as a man is with is a protect, maintain, protect, and provide, mm -hmm. right? So we can we can we can show all kind of love with our kids. You can go out buy mellow four pair of sneakers, bring them home to him. He'll be excited for that moment. I can go out bring four pair of sneakers to TJ. He'll be excited or whatever. But the only thing he's gonna forget that. But what he will remember is when he's playing, when Melo is running on that football field, he scores that touchdown and he looks up in the stands or on that sideline and sees his father. Yeah, okay. That's what he's gonna remember. And vice versa with TJ. Yep. When he's in that in that baseball or whatever, you know, he says baseball, he says soccer. That's where it's going right you now. You know, wherever, yeah. wherever it goes, yeah. man. You know, I'm here for I see it. What he's, I saw him boxing too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I tried that with him too. So, you know, it's all growth. You know, he'll pick and choose one one day. Mm -hmm. But um, when he looks and sees me in that stands and he, we like when I see him do something good on the field, we, we, I give mm -hmm. him a thumbs up and he gives it back. And, you know, that's just the empowerment. Yeah. You know, and that's what he's going to remember. He's going to totally forget those sneakers. Yeah, man. You know what those, I mean? He's going to remember those moments those right Those moments, there. man. Yeah. Those moments because yeah. the, what's real can't be seen. It's usually just what you, it can be felt. Always. You know what I mean? Always. Always. Um, in vulnerable moments, have you ever been at a point in your life where you just had to completely, you're already home, right? But mm -hmm. where well, you had to completely be vulnerable and honest with yourself in order to get better. Yes. Yes. What was that like? Like, what, like whatever you want to share, but what was that moment like? Was like, yeah, you know what? This is not good for me. I need to change. It's, 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 it's basically, um, I, I like the thing with me. Sometimes I can I have to. I have to catch myself because I can get caught up in with being comfortable with my situation, mm -hmm. and then on top of that, procrastination. You know, I know things. Not that I'm. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. It's just moving at my pace, pace. Okay. when it can. It can use. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. 
Gotcha. You know what a I mean? More sense of urgency. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you know, I go in, I go, I go in the bathroom, and I look in the mirror. You know, and I know what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. And I say, Tone, the only way it's going to get done is if we, if you work, mm -hmm. work. J. That's Cole had a line. He said, um, he said something like, "When no one's there to check me, I'm there to check myself." That's it. You That's know? it. And you have to be, you have to be that guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a single, I'm a single man. I live alone, so it's nobody there to check me. And, and most of my thoughts take place inside within the circumference of my own home. And that's when I really get with me. And I don't have a problem going into, into that bathroom and looking in that mirror and say, Tone, you bug it. You bug it. You got to step it up. You got to get it going. And it's not going to happen with you sitting here chilling on the couch. It's not going to happen. You got to put the work in and go a little above and beyond. I'm a team player, right? I'm a team player. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get done. You know what I mean? Sometimes I just want to be the initiator. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I want to be the initiator. The visionary. The visionary. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Which I'm sure you're capable of. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Ain't no definitely. Doubt definitely. It's, it's just what it's, yeah. it's, it's in me. Yeah. I just need to pull it out sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing. You know, I, I just feel vulnerable in stages oh, like wow. that. That's, that's honesty. Yeah. And, um... I think that's what's, what makes you great because that is an undervalued a part of life that is accountability, self-accountability. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yes. I think that I always tell people, listen, if I'm doing something wrong, I don't mind somebody coming to me, my friends, anybody like, yo, Ib, you're bugging. I do have a problem sometimes when, when I can't lean on you, but you're going to criticize me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't come out of the woodworks. When, when I'm there, when I'm hustling and bustling, I'm running A and B and trying to make things work, mm -hmm. and you ain't nowhere around. Mm -hmm. But when I have a moment where I have a, a slippage, then you want to criticize me. No, no, no. No, no, no. Because ain't nobody going to hold me accountable the way I hold myself accountable. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. But, you know, I, I can't, I'm not going to be around somebody like that, people like that. You know, because people absolutely that's a great point. On yeah, that. yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They look to critique you or tell you what you're not doing. Absolutely. But at the same time, they're getting nothing done on the other end. And even when it's family, sometimes you gotta yeah, you, know? you gotta cut it. Yeah. If it doesn't work for you, man, it's no need for it. No need. For you have I. Ha but one thing I don't have a problem doing is removing myself. <laughs> me either. Me either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Me so. I'll I'm good. I'll I might smile. see it over there. And I might just start exactly. to go that way. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and and the and the good thing about it is, man, just me coming up, I always knew right from wrong and respected it. You know what I'm saying? I got you this far. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I appreciate so much, man. A lot of brothers that I've come up with in Jersey City running around in Arlington Park and doing this and doing that, and some of them went this way. And I maintained and went this way and now they're back on track and now they see me on social media or they might see me in the street and they show me all kind of love and they tell me how much they love me and appreciate me and respect me for who I am and what decisions that I make and the things that I'm doing now in the community and you know as far as everything. everything. And everybody, the one thing about you, I see this, everybody know you. And that's what makes it like the Nas Jay Z thing. Right. The young kids know you. Mm -hmm. The older, the people older than you know you. Mm -hmm. The people your age know you. Mm -hmm. It's just like, yeah, man, you might have to run for can uh, <laughs> <laughs> campaign one day because the people will know you. Yeah. And then yeah. now you up in the height, so then you you it's gonna be even more ground you cover. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And 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 all of that's just 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 built in. Uh, the foundation is being set for yeah. for you. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. if I'm getting love on down my uh, Booker T projects, mm -hmm. and when you come down there, you get that love yeah, too. Yeah. You know, and yeah. vice versa because everybody knows you too, also, brother. Yeah, a little bit, little no, bit. No, it's all right. <laughs> you know, whatever it is, they know you. They might just say, "Oh, okay, I don't, I don't really know his name, but the guy who be doing this, uh, yeah, yeah. the therapist, or yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. He be doing this. He, he's the uh, creative guy, you yeah, know. Yeah. Oh, he did that joint with y'all, you know. Yeah, yeah. So the connection is always, it's there, always there, you know. And one thing I do appreciate and love 
what we've created. Mm -hmm. This network, this creative network. It's beautiful, brother. And it's, and, it's, and it's infinite and it doesn't stop at just one thing. Not at all. And it's gonna continue to evolve. It, it may look different, the, the content may look different, but even now we're here. This is part of that creative network. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And, it's, and, it's, and it's impactful. Absolutely. It's impactful. Absolutely. And I see it. Yeah. I see it. And we talked about it yes. years before it actually That's came right. to fruition. That's right. You know, everything that you want for you, want that for your, your people. Hey, TP, you know we love you, man. We appreciate love you. you. too, brother. And you already know how it is, bro. No doubt. Definitely, man. All right, Definitely, man. man. Hill to hill.